What is up guys? Guess what time it is? It's riddle time. Like I did in my previous video, for every riddle that I got wrong, I'll be doing 10 push-ups and every riddle after that, I'll be increasing the stakes and doing five more push-ups. So it'll be 10 push-ups and the next one I get wrong, it'll be 15 push-ups and so on and so forth. Feel free to pause the video at any time you can try to figure out the riddles with me. And if you get them wrong, you're doing push-ups as well. No skipping out. John and Mary woke up because their son was crying. Sonny, what happened? The son says, a vampire tried to kill me. I remembered his face. John and Mary questioned the staff in their house. The cook says, I was drinking tomato juice in the kitchen. The maid says, I was trying a new lipstick. And the butler says, I was watching the night show. Who is the vampire? So right off the bat, I have to say, incredible drawing. It looks exactly identical to each and every one of those guys. It could be any one of them, the cook, maid, or butler. They all look identical to the picture. So this is very, very difficult for me. All right, so it can't be the cook because he he said he was in the kitchen and obviously cooks don't lie and the maid it can't be a maid there are no female vampires except in twilight so that only leaves the butler which probably explains why the ears are so pointy which is almost exactly the same as the drawing my answer is the butler is the vampire final answer locked in Let's see if i'm correct who is the vampire the butler with the ears how did i know a flying saucer landed in Alaska. Several people saw two aliens stepping out of the saucer. This must be in Area 51. The UFO specialists came out to the town and questioned the citizens. They went into the woods and the saucer flew away. The agent believed that the aliens took shape of human beings and blended into the crowd. He walked along the streets and soon found both aliens. Who are the aliens? Alright, so right as I'm looking at this, I notice that every single person is like breathing out that cold air because they're in such a cold environment. And I notice two individuals that are not breathing at all. These are the aliens. So it's the woman on the top and the guy on the right, which is holding the ski things. Ski sticks. Those are the aliens. They aren't breathing. Wow. 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 I can do this all day. This is way too easy. I hope it gets a little harder because I really want to do some push-ups today. How many puppies do you see? If there is one thing I can take away, one thing that I've learned through all my years and years of experience, is that Franklin has taught me to count by twos and tie my shoes. So that being said, there are 10 puppies. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A crazy chemist kidnapped you and locked in his lab. He's going to experiment on you. You managed to get out of his office, <laughs> taking three pills away with you. Each of them work for 10 seconds and gives you a super powder, super speed, and regeneration. It's the green pill. Invisibility is the middle pill, the ability to fly with the blue pill. You have to pass through three doors, guarded by monsters. The first door is a vampire, the second is a werewolf, the third is a crazy guy. Which pill would you use to pass through each door? First off, I'm going to use the invisibility pill on the crazy guy on the third door because the werewolf has super smell so he can probably smell me even though he can't see me and the vampire has super senses as well. So I'm using the invisibility on the last door and then I'm going to use the flying pill on the werewolf because he probably won't be able to catch me if I fly and then I'll use the last pill super speed and regeneration on the vampire and that is my final answer <laughs> Watch me not even be close. All right, it says... If you fly, he'll turn into a bat and catch you. If you choose regeneration, it'll heal the bite. But you'll still become a vampire. So the invisibility pill was for the vampire. Okay, I got that wrong. And the ability to fly... Huh, I got that one. I got the one. If you become invisible, he'll smell you. I got that one. If you choose regeneration, you'll turn into a werewolf. And the last pill is regeneration. Even if he cuts you, your injuries will heal. God damn! Damn it! So I got one out of three, which is a 33%, which is a huge fail. My parents would be so disappointed. They'll probably send me back to China. Or get me so many tutors until it'll, it'll never end. I've dishonored my family. But I guess I'll make up for it by doing 10 push-ups. Alright, first set of push-ups. Oh. 
that's gonna be the last set of push-ups I do. Mark my words. And again, we're increasing the stakes. So every question I get wrong, we're gonna increase the amount of push-ups by five. So the next one I get wrong is gonna be 15 push-ups. You know what would really help? If you hit that subscribe button for me, drop those thumbs up, you know what's good. I just find these series of videos super, super beneficial as they keep you mentally and physically active, which I feel is absolutely paramount. Okay, who is not dead? Alright, so right off the bat, you see three individuals strapped on an electric chair, and the person furthest on the left, you can see that he got struck so hard that he fucking turned super saiyan, so he's dead for sure. Without a doubt, without a question, the guy on the left is fucking dead, okay? You don't get more dead than that. So the left is 100% dead, and then we go look at the person in the middle. You notice that he's wearing yellow pants. So right off the bat, you can assume that he got struck so hard, he got electrocuted so intense that he peed his pants. And when he peed his pants, it amplified the shock and electricity, and he, he is dead for sure. Without a doubt, without a shred of a single doubt, the middle guy and, and the left guy are both so dead. Which only leaves the guy on the right being that the answer is, the guy on the right is not dead. And the big reveal is, the guy on the right is not dead because it's, it's not plugged in. I was, I was gonna say that. I just didn't get around to it, but I obviously noticed that. Yeah, but, but the answer is still right. Several people were killed at night on a full moon. Ooh. The local people decided it was a werewolf. Not a bad guess, not a bad guess. And they called a werewolf hunter, Van Helsing. And he suspected three young men and asked the residents about them. He asked, what did you see the night of the murder? The people said, I saw Marcus walking with a girl under the full moon. Ooh, romantic. Another guy says, I helped John choose silver rings. He's such a fancy boy. And people said, uh, Leon works as a night guard at the store. But they didn't see him that night. He must have been in the warehouse. Who is the werewolf? Okay, so right off the bat, there are three guys. Marcus, John, and Leon. But there are eyewitnesses that have sighted exactly where Marcus and John were that night, but Leon was missing for his night shift, all right? So that only leaves one person left, which makes Leon the werewolf. Let's see if I'm correct. So Marcus didn't turn into a werewolf when he was in the full moon, and then the second guy wears silver, and silver is werewolf's weakness. So which leaves Leon as the werewolf. So even though my reasoning was wrong, I still got the answer right, which is, all that matters. You know how in school they say that you have to show all your work so you get full marks? Well guess what bitch, this ain't school. And it doesn't matter if I got all the reasoning wrong or didn't show any shit, any work. I got the answer right, let's move on. Marcus called the police at night. A werewolf has bitten one of my sisters, but I don't know who. The police soon arrived and interviewed Marcus's sisters. Which one of you was bitten by the werewolf? Cause when you clearly just ask the question, they'll just tell the truth, right? Chloe says, it wasn't me. I never leave home at night. <laughs> Louis says, I hate dogs. I wouldn't let one get close to me. Alexa says, I was with my boyfriend. We didn't see anyone. She must have already become a werewolf and tries to hide it. Who is the werewolf? <sighs> I guess this one is a no-brainer, okay? Right off the bat, you look at the three girls, you see the girl on the left, all her clothes are ripped up, she is literally bleeding out of her clothes. It is insane! Okay, you can't miss it. <laughs> it's funny because when she was interviewed, she says, It wasn't me, I never leave home at night. Bitch, if you never leave home, how do you get all those rips, all those cuts? Did you fall down like 30 flights of stairs? Bitch, this makes no sense at all. At least make up a better lie, man. Come on! Even with all that compelling evidence, I'm gonna pick the girl on the right because she's looking hella suspicious with that hella suspicious pose. Girl on the right, final answer, she is the werewolf. Ooh, blood and torn clothes, I would have never guessed. <laughs> but I picked the girl on the right, so I guess I'm doing push-ups because I'm a dumbass. Okay, 15 push-ups, let's go!
And that's it for today. That about wraps up our video. That's all the riddles for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. Drop a like, drop a comment. I read all the comments. Let me know down in the comment section below which ones you guys got right, how many push-ups you guys did. I would love to know. And that's it for today. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.